guys, I'm Shmi, hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me today for a full look, my first drive plus a chauffeur experience in a car that represents the absolute pinnacle of luxury and technology. This is the brand new Mercedes Maybach S680 4Matic. We're going to be fully exploring this stunning example finished in Patagonia red with the Maybach specific chrome accents contrasting on the exterior based on the very clever latest generation of the Mercedes-Benz S-Class. For the Maybach, it is extended with even more luxury for the rear occupants. It features that level of technology, plus even more, even more to discover, even more to learn, even more features to demonstrate today. And this being the flagship S680, houses a six liter V12 up front, the formatic four wheel drive system, the very clever four wheel steering, and so much more. In fact, for a quick look at the interior, pop out the door handles, they emerge from the side, up front we have the new MBUX with the large digital screens and plenty to run through in terms of what they can offer. As you can see, a very luxurious finish throughout inside as well. And then from the key of the car, you can even double press the unlock button and the rear door will actually open itself motorized to reveal this stunning cabin with plenty to run through from the champagne cooler to all of the ambient lighting and the technology through the screens found on the rear of the front seats as well plus the lounge position and plenty plenty more so today we will fully discover and explore this stunning car the brand new mercedes maybach s680 There is a lot for us to take in with this car. We've got a short opportunity then to explore it right now. The flagship model, the Maybach S680, based, as I said, on the new S-Class, a model that itself is loaded with tech and already pretty luxurious to begin with, but this just elevates everything even further. Now, throughout time, the S-Class for Mercedes-Benz has always been a technology tour de force, an opportunity to try new things and to demonstrate functionality that in future will filter down the line into other models as well and this is no different there are a lot of firsts a lot of amazing features and a lot of things for us to try out today but let's start with a walk around the exterior to go through some of the visual and design cues before checking out the interior up front and in the rear and then getting out onto the road as well now starting right up front we have the Maybach specific front grille the single chrome surround with the vertical slats with their distinctive design feature in the center you can see the adaptive cruise panel blended in there in terms of the design Part of the assistance systems and settings that the car offers. More chrome down below across the front apron, a distinctive mesh here as well, the parking sensors, cameras, and all sorts hiding within to help in terms of the driving. We've also got the digital light technology for the headlights. Now for the S-Class, you have the triple eyes, the E with the double eyes, the C with the single eye, a different style depending on the different positioning in terms of the lineup. But the digital light effectively can project images. It can block out whichever element of the display it would like to for example with oncoming cars it can even project images onto the road in front of you to offer instructions if needed the technology that this can bring with it is astonishing to begin with this car has the 21 inch wheels but also offers the rear wheel steering option which means despite its length it can still turn in a very tight turning radius thanks to allowing up to 10 degrees of rear wheel steering now the Maybach is five and a half meters long 30 centimeters longer than the the standard S-Class, 20 centimeters longer even the extended S-Class, of course the majority of which is found for the leg space of the rear occupants. As we come round towards the rear, you have the distinctive and growing in size Maybach logo found on the C-pillars, the distinct Maybach lettering and the chrome accents again continuing across the boot lid and also for the lower sections around the exhaust tailpipe areas on the diffuser of the car as well. But the chrome contrasting particularly well against the colors of this car as we see it and of course the v12 designation letting you know a small sense of what is housed up front now to have a better look at the interior let me just grab the key if you've walked away from the car and walk up towards it it will pop out the door handles for you but this is the new style mercedes key that we have if you double press the unlock button that's what opens up the rear door you can choose which door in the control system that that will actually interact with a single press just pops out the door handles the mercedes-benz logo that they have up top open this up of course you have soft clothes on that as well but inside particularly with this white leather this 
is a glorious place to see. We've got the piano black for the interior trims that wrap around and run across the dashboard and down towards the armrests. We've got the soft cushioned pillows for the headrest, the perforated leather on the seats for the heating and cool seat options. It has a lot more going on, the Burmester high-end 4D sound system, because not only do you have these speakers which unravel as they turn on, but it also has an impact in the seats, which means that you feel a vibration to get even more of the experience. We've got the soft carpets as well, and if we step inside here, just wake things up for a moment, it will introduce your driver profiles. For things like setting the door mirrors, you literally look at them and move the controller. You don't have to select between the left and right sides, you just have to look at it and it will do the rest for you. You've got the memory seats, you can control the other seat positions, for example the right side using the toggles here as well as your own seat, your window controls and a large digital displays, the 10, oh sorry, 12.8 inch screen in the centre and the 12.3 inch screen for the driver's dashboard with a host of different screens. We've got the full navigation view up at the moment, but this up front is already a breathtaking place to explore. We've got the glass roof as well and that view towards the back. In fact, let's head round after having a quick start up of the V12 there. Let's go and have a look at the back of the car via opening up the front of the car very quickly. Double pull of the lever just down there. Get that with a soft close, gentle push because up front we have that six litre twin turbocharged V12 making 621 horsepower, 612 brake horsepower, 900 newton meters, 738 pounds foot, which means despite being over two and a half tons, the car can do the zero to 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour sprint in four and a half seconds and onto a top speed limited to 250 kilometers an hour, 155 miles per hour, with all of the power going to the formatic system through the nine speed automatic gearbox. We've got the Maybach badge worn at the front, not too much to see a very quiet engine drop that back down and the three-pointed star worn at the end of that lovely chrome pinstripe detail that runs over the bonnet as well but coming back here this is where the car truly truly excels there is a lot to see to explore to discover just look at this with the soft pillows as well here in the back lovely headrests, even the roof finished with the matching leather, the sound system speakers with all of the ambient lighting that you can see all around the entirety of the car. And this actually changes and interacts with the person that's speaking. So it has four different microphones for the different seating configurations to detect who is talking to the car and it will let you know through the illumination as well. And then you have this wraparound cabin area, the continuation of the lovely piano black trim with the pinstriping details. And back here, if we open this, we have the champagne cooler with some water bottles at the moment. And then up top, if we open that, the flutes as well. This is an option package for the car. And one particularly lovely detail that you can do with those, if we open up this central area, which is also motorized now to reveal the climate control system, the heating and cooling cup holders, which also again illuminates depending which setting you have them in, these holders back here, if I pull out one of the champagne flutes, which are also my back logoed, they sit very cleverly on there. How awesome is that attention to detail so that they won't be spilt while you're driving? I'm gonna pop that back away. No champagne for the time being, given we're gonna be taking this for a drive in a moment. I just love the detail of the ambient lighting that runs all the way around. You have your controller here if you want to interact with the screens, you have this that you can actually eject and remove and it will show you the exact same display and enable you to run through all of the settings to see the navigation, to see what's going on, to change your music, whatever it might be, through so many different displays, panels and controls that you find inside here and then it just falls back into place. You can uh, change and have different configurations. This is the first class seating with the two captain's chairs in the rear. And you also have the lounge setting. So if you close the door, which you can now do with the button up on the roof, give that a press um, and the door will swing itself closed. You then have the option 
he says. I forgot that the seat belt would pass itself to me like you often find in a sporty coupe. You then have the option for the lounge seat. So I press the button here, the front seat will push itself all the way forwards to maximize the amount of leg room that you have. There's the footrest as well down at the bottom. My seat is also reclining to put itself into the most comfortable position. It folds the headrest to enable that to go as far forwards as possible. The process does take a little bit of time, but very shortly, as my seat is currently moving, I will have literally a bed in the back of the Maybach for the maximum of comfort while riding in style inside this car. It's shuffling my footrest at the moment and just moving everything to a very, very nice lounge seating position with the pillows. It does not get better. And when you've got that view as well, of course, you have all of the blinds that you can control as well with the various different switches here. Pull up the rear blind for the moment. We've got the sunroof that you can close as well. You can really enclose yourself into the back of this car and feel very much in a, in a supremely comfortable state of mind and position, it has to be said. Press again and we'll get it back. Uh, he says it goes up fully into the uh, lounge position there, sorry, with the footrest coming on out, even the ambient lighting that you have down there. Now I'm going to pop it back into the uh, normal seating position, he says, the button just at the bottom, which reverses everything for the time being to where it was. Even down here, do we have a little cigar, cigarette ashtray as well? The sound system speakers are all beautiful. And of course, everything is wonderful in terms of the fit and finish to touch. <laughs> it's just, everything moves, everything is interactive, everything is magnificent. But I think it's time to hop into the front seat, into the driver's seat, after obviously opening the door with the button, because why wouldn't you when you can? To go and take this car for a little drive myself, to experience what it's like behind the wheel of the Mercedes Maybach S680. As we pull out then, the immediate sensation in here is one of calmness, quietness, and luxury. And the rear wheel steering is also instantly noticeable considering the length of the car. You've got a fantastic heads up display. You have the augmented reality navigation system as well, which overlays on both the nav system and your heads up display where you need to turn. It is an amazing piece of technology that's been introduced in terms of the ease and integration of everything. Now at the moment we're in the comfort mode, but there is actually the my back mode where everything gets even softer in terms of the ride from the suspension, the quietness, and the car is aware of its surroundings, what's on the road, reading bumps, preparing, adapting everything to give you that perfect ride and comfort. And immediately you feel that. The loudest thing is the air conditioning blowing because despite today's slightly drizzly weather, it is quite warm and muggy. Everything just feels it makes you want to be gentle. It makes you want to take everything gradually, smoothly. That engine is there in the background, that V12 murmur, but like this, it's it's not intrusive. It's just effortless. And the Maybach mode softens the response from the throttle pedal ever so slightly to make it that even more gentle ride. That I think is the real word for the moment. And if you go the other way, you can pop it into sport or even have an individual setting as well. And I can feel the bumps, not aggressively like being in a sports car, but aware that we just went over a bump in the tarmac. And this is where it will be a little bit more lively and a little bit more responsive as well. And arguably not really in the character of the car, I suppose, but we are talking a 600 horsepower and 900 Newton meter V12 powered Mercedes, which is a very, very special thing and long live the V12 engine, to be honest. I think a lot of people thought that with the previous generation, there was the final edition, and that might have been, in some ways, the end of that era. But thankfully, we're able to enjoy them for a little bit longer. Now, as we head on out, you can hear a little bit more of the sound. Effortless power, of course, the four-wheel drive system, all conditions. It helps in terms of stability, security, and you see the bonuses and benefits that come from that. And inside here, just looking at the dashboard display that I have and the amount of information it offers, and we're here at the moment actually near to the Mercedes-Benz Group HQ in the UK in Milton Keynes. So we're surrounded by dual carriageways and roundabouts, which is very much the 
story for this area, it just glides through, even in sport mode. I'm going to pop it back in a second into comfort to get the full spectrum, but plenty of power, plenty of poke, four and a half seconds to 60 miles an hour as well. This is capable of. So let's pop it back into comfort. Yes, you notice that softening up. You notice that softening up quite significantly. Of course, I'm aware that it's a big old car, but I've got good visibility. That very pronounced center line that runs over the bonnet. Nice view through the mirrors, having just set them using the gaze, literally looking at one and making sure that it's set correctly as a result. You can just waft around in here and know that it can do everything that it offers every piece of technology that you could possibly want in the modern era as well because at the moment just driving the gearbox is very seamless on the shifts between gears the nine speed gearbox that we have obviously a gear for pretty much any purpose but you can interact with it you can say hey Mercedes hello I'm Mercedes your voice assistant would you like to know I could do for you. But you can ask it to change the colour of the lighting, you can ask it to do just about anything that the car can do in terms of a tech control. You can do it through speaking, changing the temperature, turning on the seat heating, making everything that little bit more comfortable. Now of course we've also got the adaptive cruise control, the lane assistant, so if you start drifting to the side, well firstly the car will automatically pull you back, secondly it will notify you that you're drifting, the drowsiness sensor with various detectors to make sure that the driver is paying attention, literally you name it in here, and this car pretty much has it. It has various things like self-parking ability, the traffic assistant, so at lower speeds in traffic jams, the car can manage the entirety of that process on your behalf. It's just loaded with all of these different assistance settings that combine with this incredibly elegant ride experience for a package, which as I said at the start, is the pinnacle of luxury and technology. It's time to swap around, but let's have a start up quickly. You can hear that V12, right. So I am going to ride in the rear right chauffeur position then to experience this luxury from the rear on the move. And of course, a press of the button to close the door. That takes some getting used to. When it's closed, the airbag seat belt is then provided. The seat belt literally has an airbag in it. We can connect that down here where the plug is actually illuminated as well and ready to roll onwards. So thank you for driving. Let's experience this from the back. Of course, you can keep the pillows in. I'm going to pull it out just for the moment though and discover a little bit more of what we have really with the control screens without the user profile. In here it will load up. We can bring up the navigation, for example, and run through some of the different settings, see the driving information, set our climate control, run through the media, connect the Bluetooth, all on a very high resolution, clear display that we have there. You've got a storage cubby on the back of the seats, the MyBack logos, again, the trim that runs around the outside of the seats, and all of this incredible lighting. The attention to detail is magnificent. And then we get on the move, and also, by the way, underneath the armrest is where you have your makeshift office, the tables that you can pull out, fold, twist around and open up if you'd like to work from the back of the car, held in securely and have that flat if you need to use it for any purpose. Also open up the one on the other side as well. There's a wireless charging pad, both back here and in the front, and a whole host of different connections. The HDMI ports, the USB-C ports, your standard 12 volt socket as well. So plenty of ability to connect and have various devices charging up from your mobile workstation in the back of the Maybach S-Class, along with your champagne flutes and a, a bottle of bubbly, should you wish, for the ride. But inside here, it is very quiet. It's very calm. Details are like having air conditioning vents on the B pillars, just to make everything quite a pleasant environment. You've got various different settings, in fact. You can turn them through three different stages of the climate control, beyond, obviously, the elements that you can control through this. You can actually select this to either go to the left or the right screens uh, as well for that operation. There are the blinds on those 
quarter lights on the back windows that you have back there and close it all up. We'll just waft along as we are doing right now and enjoy the experience, enjoy being in a truly spectacular place, especially with a specification like this car. It's a lovely, lovely place to be. We're back at base, but there really is so much to this. I've been going through the system a little bit and you can see some of what you've got here. If you go into comfort though, you can turn on your massaging seats, you can go through the different seat positions, your ambient lighting, you can change all of this and the different multicolored schemes and whatever it is you might want exactly. Your energizing comfort control where it runs a few different sequences and programs. This is all, it's beyond words in terms of what this offers and obviously with this configuration the finish and the materials and all of the leathers it's quite hard to explain but everything is magnificent to the touch and if I step on out for the moment I just want to show one other thing with the doors for the back doors of course being motorized if you press on the button they close themselves just like that because it's easier hey, at the end of the day and that's what this is all about you've got that distinct Mercedes eyebrow over the top of the headlights for the running lights I want to show you a little bit more though up front and some of the systems on offer here and the functions and functionality we'll just log in to this very quickly you can see again the same kind of system as we have in the back the same kind of controls as the back here we've got it between the different driving modes you can have individual and set that up through the settings uh, exactly how you'd like to have it and then you've got so many controls and the assistance systems everything in here that you could possibly imagine ever wanting or needing is all available to you dynamic low beam projection of the headlights that's what i was talking about earlier the intelligent assistance the car talking to you it has a fingerprint reader here to log in if when you step into the car you don't want to enter a pin code you can just touch that with your finger it can see where you're looking it can hear where you're talking from it has the various different gestures you can wave your hands around and interact with it in all sorts of different ways you've obviously got this floating screen which was discussed heavily when it was launched quite different to s classes of previous generations this style of integration if you open up this compartment here we've got the key in one of the cup holders at the moment another ashtray there your wireless charging pads again more USB-C ports and this even just the motion movement of that is a delight open up the armrest inside here more wireless charging pads and USB-C ports you're not going to struggle to keep your mobile devices charged inside the new S-Class or the Maybach S680 that is certainly for sure and then your driver dashboard um, if we close the door open button you have again a whole host of different screens and displays that you can set up however you would like the Maybach style for example with those very glamorous and elegant displays then you could go into a sportier look if you want with the red style theme to it I think I just missed the uh, button there load up the sport display where you get this 3d texture to it quite hard to explain through the video but when you're looking at this you see it like you're looking down a tunnel it's very very clever the way that is actually created or you can have the full nav or your assistance and see for example exactly what's around you on the road it will bring up projections of the other cars that are around you and then yes all of this the, the heads up display style settings as well you can choose between a numerous selection of, of different heads up displays and the augmented reality as you can see puts these blue arrows over the road effectively in front of you this very large heads up display area it projects the arrows so when you're going around a corner it directs and shows you uh, what's what's going on around you so the long story short is you have the most fantastic array of settings systems displays controls all in a package with this glorious finish to it lovely stitching and quilting over the door inserts as well and at the end of the day it has a v12 as well yes yeah, not the loudest of v12s but the way that engine drives and look at that with the my back logos as well making up the background there on that image this is a masterpiece this is a car that I didn't necessarily think that I might need in my life, but having now ridden in it, I feel like I do. And even to come round towards the back, of course, we've got a powerful tailgate. Ignore all my bits and pieces back here at the moment. You can see the fridge does take up a little bit of space, but still plenty of space back here for luggage or whatever it might be. And the button to close that back down as well. 
with this sportier shape that the new generation S-Class introduced and brought with it. So I don't really know what else to say. An experience as well of the rear wheel steering in here as I did before with the S-Class itself when it launched is something that makes you wonder how that is possible. It can turn around in this space without hitting the curve or going on the grass, which a car like this shouldn't be able to do, but it makes life much, much easier. Combine that with being able to park itself and things are rather simple, rather luxurious, very gentle, and all round wonderful. That is it for today though. Thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed this full look, first drive and chauffeur experience in the brand new Mercedes Maybach S680 4MATIC. I really enjoyed that. <laughs>